welcome back to my channel. This weekend we had gone to SS County's Turtle Bank Zoo, which was voted number one zoo in New Jersey with over 200 species presenting animals from around the world. Starting from African adventure to sea turtle recovery, sea lion sound, shows of Africa, big cat sanctuary, wolf woods, you'll get everything. The ticket prices are $19 for adults and $16 for children and seniors. And yes, group of 15 tickets or more are eligible for group rate discount. If you are a person who absolutely loves adventure and wildlife, this is a place for you. People who know me knows nothing gives me more pleasure than watching wildlife in their own habitat. Although I am not a person who supports animal in captivity, I did come to visit. A lot of times conservation becomes extremely important for certain endangered species or animals which are on the verge of extinction. Zoos also help in aided breeding which helps many species to continue their bloodline. I am a wildlife enthusiast, always learning and reading about them. The first animal of the day was a gigantic giraffe. These were African breeds and huge in size. This was the only animal who could be fed by the public with a small nominal fee of $5. Next we saw these monkeys swinging around. Last weekend was extremely warm. Most of the animals were lazing around or asleep. We saw this huge hyena resting under a shade. You won't believe the size until unless you see it in front of you. I had the idea hyenas were like dogs but no, they're actually huge. My next favorite was the puma or the mountain lion. They are also called cougars. I was so excited to see it. These are usually solitary animals keeping mainly to themselves. They are of course carnivore and mainly hunt on hoofed animals like deer and elk. These Native American big cats have one litter of cubs every two to three years with very low survival rates with one cub surviving. The zoo had these water sprinklers for anyone who was willing to cool down a little. It was so relaxing. We also saw the American bison found in plenty in Yellowstone National Park. Watching the entire herd in their habitat is a bucket list item for sure. They are humongous but slow. If threatened, these can be fatal. The zoo also has a farm with sheep, goat and pigs. You could feed them and get your hands dirty. We had almost covered the entire zoo and was extremely tired and hungry. We decided to grab a quick bite and then continue the day.
There is also a gift shop inside the zoo. Like always, I get a magnet to remember I had visited the place. After enjoying some live music, we headed towards our next destination, the Paddle Boat House. It's an adjacent huge water body covered by hills on all sides. You could go for a scenic boating session or just enjoy nature with food and drinks. It was already 6 p.m. and time to go back home. We decided to have dinner outside. After searching for a while, we came across this beautiful African themed diner called Chicha. I loved the decor and the food. We gorged on some frappuccino, wings, and quesadilla. We had a fun-filled, adventurous day at the zoo. Hope you liked the video. That's it for today. Please like, share and subscribe for more such videos every week. Bye-bye.